John here guys, and today we're talking about the Diatone GT349. This is Diatone's latest 3-inch bind and fly offering, and I have the human torch here because anytime that you're talking about one of these bind and flies from overseas, you're quite likely to be flamed, so flame on and let's dive in. Now, what do you think of when you think of Diatone? Uh, quite a lot of things. They've been in the game uh, just about longer than anyone. And um, one of the things that they started offering, you know, as soon as they got a little deeper into the space were things like the, uh, things like the GT2, uh, the famous, um, bind and fly that was a five inch that was on so many episodes of uav futures as his favorite thing a few years back um here is the retail packaging that it comes in the rabbits the r349 uh this is the one with the run cam um, 200 tx video transmitter on there and let's just quickly go with through the box and some of the things that it comes with it comes with some stickers some props comes with um, two extra of these canopies. Wow, that's pretty significant. Comes with those wind dancer props that you can use on a regular uh, M5 screw or has little adapters on there to be able to use with T-style props. And it's nice that it came with those adapters, even though um, this one isn't gonna need it. Um, and look at all the other stuff that it comes with. <laughs> an extra strap, wow, that never happens. Uh, an extra harness, um, some instructions on the Mamba, some zip ties and some little soft mount battering things, some extra screws. So it's quite a comprehensive little package. And for the retail price of only $139.99, um, this is a bit of a game changer price-wise. But how does it fly? Well, you see a lot of the toy grade reviewers talking this thing up. A lot of the other channels have been extolling the virtues of this um, medium priced bind and fly, but does it live up to the hype? Now, before I answer that, let's go through the components. This is using the Diatone Mamba stack, a stack that I have used myself and builds three or four times already. Uh, and it's proven to be quite the stalwart, very robust. There is out there, it can't be bargained with, it can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever. It's using a green colored Runcam Micro Swift. It is using Diatone branded 1408 Mamba motors that are 4,000 kV, meaning you can run this on 4S, uh, four cell batteries, no problem. It has, of course, like I mentioned, the Runcam uh, video transmitter right there. And then I have placed my XM Plus receiver right on top of it. Now, uh, much like Albert Kim, I, I kind of looked at his video a little bit. He put his receiver on the back right there. And I did it that the, I did the same thing when it came in uh, because I just wanted to go fly it so urgently. Um, but that's not a good place for it, guys. This is bad. So, you know, and it's really easy to slide it up on there. Just take these two uh, 1.5 hex screws out. You don't even have to take the front off. It tilts up enough to where you can just shove your XM Plus right underneath there. It fits in there perfectly without any problems at all. And what I've done is an old antenna mounting secret. <laughs> I've just used two layers of electrical tape. This is a M3 Super 33. So I have one layer on the bottom, then I lay the antenna on top and then put a second layer out on the front arms. Now, if you're gonna be doing long range or something like this, this is not a good solution, but I don't do long range. I never fly farther than a couple hundred yards. And for that, this is totally fine. Um, it comes with the strap already installed for you, uh, which is nice because they have it kind of weaved through the frame. I don't know how you're ever gonna do that again. Uh, if you were to break this. Uh, and so I actually threw some of the Gym Fan three inch flash props on there um, because I just like those and I liked the color that it went with this. It does have a dipole antenna. Um, so, but if you're flying by yourself, uh, it's gonna be totally fine. Now, how does it fly? Does it live up to the hype? Are the other reviewers just yanking your chain in order to get affiliate sales? And in this case, the answer is it lives up to the hype and more. This thing is so fast. I almost cannot believe how fast this three inch is. It's so light. It's lighter than any other three inch that I've ever been able to build with motors that are larger than an 11 um, XX size. 
how did they get 1408 large boaters with this this frame is very light with this little plastic canopy but it does seem to offer a good amount of camera protection you see these little bumpers that run out the front that's protecting your camera against hits and of course the lighter the build the less likely you are to smash things in crashes now andy rc postulated that this thing is so fast that it could potentially be run on a racetrack along with five inch racing uh, <laughs> copters uh, is that true? Oh man, I've never known a three inch that could really hang on a five inch track. Now you can, you can run a three inch track and run these against other three inches. And the problem that I had with three inches flying against five inches in the past, like my massive droner that's a three inch with 1507 Brother Hobby Avenger motors, that thing would easily in acceleration and top speed keep up with a five inch, no problem. But the problem is if you are on the throttle that heavy, throughout a two minute race, there's no way you're gonna make it to two minutes plus, right? Maybe a minute and 20, maybe a minute and 30. But this thing is so light, it is so efficient that I think this could potentially do it. Um, so it has the speed in spades, but it's not that hard to build a super fast triple digit mile per hour three inch. What is amazing is that NERC clocked this thing at 113 miles per hour, meaning that it is most likely faster than just about any five inch that I currently have. Um, but I think that it could hold two full minutes in the air on a track. Now we set up the multi-GP qualifier track this weekend and I brought this out uh, with the intent to try to run it, but I just got too focused on, on testing a couple of other builds. And uh, you know, with this linear antenna, it may not play nice with other people on the, on the, on the line. We were running eight person heats. So I didn't want to risk blowing anyone out with this thing. So I didn't get to run it, but I promise that I will be running this at some point on a track in the future. So I'm going to show some flight footage uh, with a couple of gates set up near my house on how this thing flies. I'm going to do some high speed punches with this thing. I'm going to tell you right now, this is what I recommend for beginners to get. If you're looking for a drone, if you've already flown a whoop, if you've been on the simulator, you're looking for your first real quad to buy, you're not sure if you should get a five inch or a three inch, buy this. It's $140. All you got to do is add your receiver which takes minutes and in fact it's already wired up on the mamba stack for you you just have to solder three wires onto your receiver uh so simple one of the simplest binding flies i've ever gotten uh and why why would i recommend this to a newcomer if it's so fast well the thing is when you have something that's so fast sometimes it's hard to fly it slow but this lightweight with these three inch props has so much lift that you can comfortably fly it slow and it's so light that it's most likely gonna withstand some crashes. Now, I don't recommend for any newcomers to go fly over concrete, to go racing at your first day, fly over somewhere with grass, guys. Fly with the spotter because these tiny builds will get lost in the grass. So if you do crash, have a good idea of where it's at. Don't try to go too high, too far, too fast. But this thing can do it all. And if you're an experienced flyer, if you just wanna have something that you can fly at a park without worrying about causing too much damage, if you want something that's not gonna create as much noise as your five inch, and do it on the cheap and just be able to keep it with you this is the answer i don't know how they've packed so much in a package so small for a price point so cheap i'm kind of blown away because i've been building three inch quads for what three years now i've done 10 12 i don't even know how many i've had blinded flies i've done plenty of builds and i've never been able to achieve both speed and efficiency and lightweight like this maybe you can have two out of the three but never all three and it's so nimble in the air. It's barely like what, 30 grams heavier than a two and a half inch. Oh man, uh, <laughs> I can't say enough good things about this thing. So I was really expecting to tear it apart and say that all the other reviewers were wrong. But in this case, I have to admit, Diatone has achieved something special here. And because of their economies of scale, where they are manufacturing almost everything top to bottom, the frame, the motors, the stack is all diatone. The only parts that they're outsourcing are the video transmitter and the camera. So because of those economies of scale, they're able to generate and manufacture things at such large volumes because they sell the stack separately that they're able to generate a product that is of a high quality and pass those savings on to you. So um, I've always considered diatone a step up above a lot of the other Chinese manufacturers. And this just goes to show that this proves it. I would put diatone now very close, if not on equal footing as say Emacs, which I have long considered one of the most reliable uh, and safe to buy uh, quads in the game. 
Uh, if you were to purchase a Baby Hawk R three inch versus this, get this. This is this is the one, guys. Uh, this is faster. It's it's a little bit heavier, but man, the versatility and the performance of this thing. It's got to go 30 miles an hour faster. Now, if you're a noob, go ahead and set yourself a throttle limit. So like 80% so that you're not just going, you know, super light warp speed as soon as you hit the throttle. But wow, great. Here's the flight footage, guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, that is cool.